Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to DVD at Impera with yours truly, your first spear Primus Pilus. We are back, my friends, in Carthage and we are starting out the episode with a battle against the traitors, aren't we? These are bloody traitors, aren't they? The Lions of Tanit. Well, Lions of Tanit, we are going to obliterate you today. I'm hoping we are going to obliterate you today because my track record with Carthage is not as good as I would like it to be. Uh, but let's dive in. Let's Let's get to it. Let's bloody get to it. So we have uh, we have a little bit of armor. That is good, at least. Um, these troops are a lot better than the spears that we're used to. Oh, they're actually selling out into the field. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I would rather have them as sitting ducks in a city where they don't move and we just hammer at them with these missile troops. But it does look like that is not going to happen. Um, but that does mean that they will probably come for us. So at least that's a good thing. Now, I do think we have missile superiority. We have a little bit of armor. Uh, we have cavalry superiority. That's a good thing, at least. I'm not sure how long our center is going to hold. That is the only the only thing that I'm a little bit worried about. Um, they have more troops. They have the advantage in numbers, I think. We don't have a lot of infantry. So we're going to have to see how long we can hold with, uh, with that. Because they are sallying out. So they are probably going to try and go for the attack. Uh, but what I'd love to do... Let's start deployment here. Dry is good. Dry is always good. Um, what I would love to do is, first of all, check where our reinforcements are going to come from. And they are coming from this direction, which is good. Uh, what I would love to do is... What would I love to do? Let's get things uh, organized first. Let's have these men stand over here. They're over there. Um, okay, I'm already, I'm already in the zone here. I need to bloody win this, because our track record is not... Or let's let's not. I mean, I've no. I'm not going to go there. Um, our reinforcements are going to come from here, which is about here. We're going to consolidate, and then we'll just see what the enemy does. Let's keep an eye on them, though. Yeah. Cavalry. I have chosen the There's our men. Yeah, we have not fought that many battles with uh, Carthage, but the battles that we have fought. We're a little bit more um, iffy than I would like them to be. I'm not as good with Carthage as I am with Rome. Doesn't look like the enemy is moving, though. So we might have to start moving towards them. Um, which is fine, I guess. I mean, if they want to stay where they are, that's fine by me. We're just going to we're just going to start shooting at them with the uh, the missile troops that we have, the uh, archers. That's why I like archers. They have range, man. They have range. Same with slingers. I'd love to have some artillery, but we don't have artillery. But yeah, well, having one piece of... Uh, what, what, just one artillery piece on each army, that is just such a big difference. I love having a little bit of artillery. Uh, let's make sure people don't fire a will. I think that is the best thing to do here, especially for these guys. Let's just not fire a will. Uh, and I think we're just going to slowly start moving towards the enemy because they do not seem to be moving. Oh, they have traps. Uh, so that means... These are the brimstone thingies. So that means that their uh, spiky things are in the center. So with a little bit of luck, we can actually force them through the center and have them fall into their own traps. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm going to take these guys out of their formation. Let's get out of that phalanx and let's start moving forward. Slowly. I'm going to charge up my phone here, and we're not going to set a timer just yet. Let me plug that, that thing in. I'll keep an eye on them. I'll keep an eye on them. Don't worry. Don't worry. Definitely keep that eye on them. I see them. I see them moving like that. That is all fine. I'm actually... I might want to start moving forward with the arches a little bit quicker. So we can start getting some shots out now. I mainly want to target their. Uh, I mainly want to target their lightly armored missile troops. So let's just start moving these guys forward. We can run for a bit. That's fine. And the rest of them need to. The rest of them need to keep moving as well, but slowly, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race, eh? Okay. Let's bring them together a bit. Let's see what they do. Just going to see what they do for a bit. I 
And I just want to get into missile. Oh, hi. Something's moving. Let's start firing at that, if we can. I'd like that. They're f uh, what are they doing? They're going to light the pits, aren't they? Okay, I'm going to have these men fire a will. With a little bit of luck, we can just start chipping away at these guys. If they don't want to attack, they don't want to attack. I'm going to be fine with that. Yeah, I think they're going to start uh, lighting these brimstone pits. We're going to... We're going to start firing at them. It's too dead, isn't it? Yeah, they're lighting it. They're doing it. I'll let them do it. Oh, got to keep an eye out for the main army, though. Actually, we're going to start moving back. We're going to start moving back, you know. What are we going to do with these missiles? What are we going to do about these missiles? Because in a little bit, they're going to start coming into range, and we want them to... F we probably don't want them to fire at these guys. They have way more infantry troops than we do. We're going to be able to snag a few kills with the calf, maybe. Maybe. But we need them distracted. Okay, I don't want to... Uh, do these guys have shields? They should have shields, right? Yeah. Do I can leave him, right? Yeah, do I can leave him. Let's bring him to the bring him to the front a bit. Go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start pushing in quick with the cavalry. With a little bit of luck, we can get some uh, we can get some kills in. We might be too late already. This is very close. This is a very, very close call. I'm not loving this. I mean, they are not loving this either, but... I don't want the cavalry get tangled up with... Uh... I don't want the cavalry to get tangled up with their infantry. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Okay, these ja javelins need to start moving here. Wow, 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 wow. Don't do that, man. Okay, well, we got the cavalry out, I guess, but... Okay, we keep firing, I guess. Thread the needle here. We need to make sure that is done. Cavalry's moving out there. This is going to be iffy, man. Sorry, I'm really trying to focus here. This is this is going to be very challenging. That's the rear, that's the rear. Get him. Get him on the rear, come on. Okay, I really need these men to break. So we can start pushing in there a bit. Oh god, this is going to be a challenge. How are these men doing? I mean, they're not doing great, are they? We've got to keep them together, man. We've got to keep this thing together. Okay, we've got some of them wavering. That's a good thing. There's a there's a general. I'm actually going to start pushing and poking that general. Okay, we've got this unit. That's good. I'm going to push the general in. Push that in as well. I'm gonna push a general in. I'm not loving it, but no, I'm not. I know, I know. I mean, that's a lot of spears, eh? Push him in. Push him in. Come on. These men, these men just got a hold. They got a hold. Did I? Did I swap them out? Okay, find their general. Find your target on their general. Okay, I've got got a lot of them running here. Got a lot of them running here. Let's keep them running. Where's our Where's our other general? Come on, get in. Cavalry out. Cavalry out. Cavalry out. Find their general. Come on. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. You need to stay there. You need to stay there, buddy. I know you've used all your ammo. Target their general. Hold that, hold that thing, hold that, 
I'll hold that bloody center there. Um, cavalry on the rear, come on. Cavalry on the rear. Are you out of ammo? If you're out of ammo, get in. Get in if you're out of ammo. The general's still running around here. Block him, block him, block him, block him, block him. We need to, we need to close this gap. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I know, it's okay. These guys are all out, let's get them in. Uh, get the general around. Uh, start shooting fire. We can do this, we can bloody do this, come on. Start shooting fire, we need to do something about the morale. That's it, good. Good job. Good job. Got another general, we can use it. These men need to die, come on. Not too happy with these armored units, but... Yep, we're breaking here. We're breaking here. Okay, I'm going I'm going out for their general. I've got my sights on that guy now. Shoot those fire arrows. That's it, that's it, that's it. Break this unit. That's their general wavering. If their general dies, we got him. We can get him, we can get him. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Loving it. Get him. This is now we need to push. Now we need to bloody push. Come on. Come on, now we need to push. Do something about that morale. These guys need to go. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends. I'm just so bloody... Ugh. We got him. Oh, my God. Divide is the Bira is hard, man. Such a bloody, bloody difficult day. Such a difficult game. And I'm glad we did it because we really, really needed this victory. We really needed this victory. I mean, that is the difference that armor makes, eh? Just having these two armored units able to actually hold that center, that is such a, like, that is such a difference. We, we've had all these Dorkim Libim uh, kind of guys, and they were, uh, they were, oh, don't go over there, don't go over there. We've had all those Dorkim Libim guys, and they are just cannon fodder, basically. We need armor. We just need these Dorkim, uh, Dorkim Kudosim. We need them on our main army as well. We, we really need those armored guys. Because not being able to hold the center is such a... Like, if we're not able to hold the center, we, we, we just don't win these battles. The difference that these guys make, it's such a, such a big difference for me. Oh my god, I'm happy we... Uh, I'm really happy we won this. Because... Um, this campaign is hard enough. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Alrighty, a decisive victory, very good. Let uh, We have actually lost Dorkim Libim here, but so be it. Uh, let us occupy this settlement. Although we didn't really need to get replenishment here, so... Hmm. That is fine, we need to get our food situation resolved. Right now, what we really need to do... Wow, look at the public order. Uh, right now, what we really what we really need to do right now... Right now, what we really need to do... My goodness, what am I saying here? Uh, what we need to do is we need to secure Africa. Africa. That is what we need to do. There we go. Um this guy, man. Cheese. Okay. Uh, what is this? Start turn, end turn. I think this is uh, end turn. I think we saved it here. We have 2k in the bank still. Uh, you need to get more movement range. And we need to get more movement range, uh, which is here. Movement range, man. If you would ask me, that is the most important thing you can have. So what do we do with this general? I don't know. Uh, we've got Suffax and we have got Sidin. Who are you anyway? Suffax and Sidin. Minus 69. Did we lose a general on you? Yeah, general dies in battle. So that is Sidin. That is Batos. Then we have Sufex over here. We, we need to fix our political situation. So bizarre. Um, I think we can get rid of one of these guys. And I think let's get rid of the other guy. So we'll have 
this all go to you and then this is a uh, seed in which is not of our house right because that is seed in uh, seed in is going to stand down you are going to stand down my friend and that saves us 400 a turn which is very good uh, these are these mercenaries they only cost 89 though uh, still I mean we're not fighting with them anytime soon I think let's disband these guys and I would like to patrol the region, but we can't do that. We need to fix our financial situation. Uh, you are still doing what you should over here. We're going to get a revolt here, which is not great. Uh, everything is being taxed. That is a good thing, at least. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to start sending... Uh, we're we're going to get an attack here, aren't we? So you're recruiting. Uh, you are recruiting as well. And you need to fight the Romans, actually. We need to fight at Euphranta. I think we can. It's a bit annoying that the pirate... I mean, the pirate situation. We talked about that, didn't we? That is really a bummer. That annoys me. Um, I think I want to start... Rec uh, where's our fleet? Where is our fleet? We have a fleet. Can't move you. That is the issue. I need to start recruiting a fleet. A small one. Minus eighty-five. My goodness, we're gonna get a re we're gonna get a bloody revolt here as well. Um, I want a decent fleet. I want a fleet that's gonna be able to handle um, troop transports. Like it, it shouldn't be a fleet able. Uh, it, it shouldn't be a, a fleet that is able to handle. Um, it should not be a fleet that is able to handle. What's it called? My goodness, uh, another fleet. There we go. It needs to be a fleet that's going to be able to handle troop transports. Uh, troops, tr troop transports, my goodness. Uh, like what we saw over here, for example. If we had a fleet of about, let's say, six, seven, eight ships. Let's say eight. I think eight ships is going to be enough. If we have eight ships, we, we are just going to be able to secure that Mediterranean. Now, I know that a couple of you are going to say that that is very expensive. And it is. It is very expensive. We have uh, an edict that we can issue here. I'm going to go for bread and games because we need the public order. Um, I know a lot of you are going to say in the comment section that getting a fleet is going to be ex uh, expensive. And yes, that is correct. A fleet is expensive. But having a fleet of about eight ships enabling us to actually get rid of... Oh, the bloody Romans are going at it again, aren't they? I need to set a timer as well. Uh, there we go. So yeah, having a fleet that's going to be able to... Uh, they're going to take up, so they're going to just... That, that, like, we don't stand a bloody chance here, do we? Uh, we do, actually. What the hell? Uh, are they not reinforcing this thing? No, we don't stand a chance. Sorry. Yeah, no. It's not happening. At least we might be able to get the pirates, uh, the pirates involved in that fight. Yeah, the Romans took top source. That that was to be uh, that was to be expected. Now, with a little bit of luck, our ally is going to try and take out this army, and they don't take the city, so that we can take the city with that army. Now, continuing my story where I where I left it off, um, having having a small fleet is indeed going to be costly. It's going to cost us, well, probably around 1,500 a turn, more than 1,500 even. Let's say 1,800 a turn. But I am happy to pay 1,800 a turn if it's going to make sure... Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. <sighs> sure. I'm going to be happy paying 1800 to turn if that means that we can actually sink enemy um, enemy doomstacks trying to cross the Mediterranean here. If that means that we can try and sink enemy doomstacks trying to cross the Mediterranean, I'm happily paying 1800 to turn. Because at, it, at least it's going to keep Africa safe. We need to keep Africa safe. That is that is our top one priority at the moment. We need to consolidate. We need to we need to get politics under control. We need to get the Mediterranean under control, and we need to make sure Africa is consolidated and peaceful and secure and actually bringing in more money than it's going to cost us, right? That is that is that is my thoughts on this thing, and not necessarily in that order. We, but we ca we cannot think about trying to cross. We we cannot even think about you know trying to reconquer Caracas. We need to think about having them. Uh, try and get their troops over towards Africa, and then use our fleet to actually sink their uh, sink their um, sink their troop transports. Sinking their troop transports, by the way, is going to also get us a lot of cash, and we should use that cash that we get by sinking their uh, transports to ah, what what the hell are you doing, man? We should actually use the um, use the cash that we get from that um, to start building up our provinces again. I think that is what we do. And yes, there we go. We got to start fighting this thing. Oh God, you got to be kidding me. 
Well, you never know. You never know. Hope dies last. These are hybrid units. I'm not loving that. So the best thing we can do is actually choke them into a uh, into a situation. But they're just going to start hurling sh shite at us. We don't have any cavalry. That also worries me. If we had some cavalry, we might be able to uh, to have a bit more of a chance here. I think we're going to lose this, but you never know. We're gonna we're gonna still fight this because they are pretty pretty damaged. They are pretty damaged, and we have some shields at least. Still, they will have a lot of missiles. Oh god! Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look at this thing. They're going to come from that direction. I think they're all going to try and choke through here. So we're just going to defend that gap. I think. Then have somebody defend that. Yeah. That's going to be it. Now we cannot form a phalanx with these guys, which is not great, but. So be it. These guys are just going to throw their javelin. The more we can route, uh, the more we can route quickly, the better. With a little bit of luck, we can start flanking them as well. So let's just do this. It's not a lot of strategy. Uh, not a lot of strategy happening with this one. We just need to hold, hold the gap. Just push them in a bit. Are they armored? Yeah. Okay, I'm 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 worried. I am worried. Let's be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's see if they want to flank. Because if they don't, that's gonna be good. Yeah, they're just gonna start throwing a lot of missiles at us. Now we have shields. That is a good thing. But still. No, they're gonna try and flank, aren't they? No, they're not. They're not. So we just need to hold while wow, look at that. Yeah, they are definitely doing a number on us and they still have a lot of men. Okay. Already, already, my goodness. Yeah, there's really nothing we can do about this. We just we uh, oh god. That is horrible. This is horrible. Go, just go. Let's see if we can maybe over, over, uh, overpower these guys at least. But they're going to skirmish. They're going to run, bastards. Yeah, we've just lost our entire front line here. Yeah, they flee the field of battle. Let's go. They're just going to run forever, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to be able to outrun us. Men flee the field of battle. This is worse than I thought. There's nothing I can uh, I can really do about this. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Our men flee the field These are very annoying hybrid units. These are very annoying hybrid units. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Come on. We're not even punching through anything, aren't we? Yeah. Goodbye. The field of Speaking of a glass cannon, my goodness. Well, they've got a city again. So we've got to deal with them too. At least we've got an army on the way. We might need to recruit some mercenaries on that. We'll have to see. Right, I'll see you in a bit. A crushing defeat. At least they lost two units on that. But uh, yeah, a crushing... Oh, did they... They did not even take it. They did not take it. But that does mean that these rebels are going to take it. And I'm not sure what I... Hate more. We shall have war. And poets will sing of it 10,000 years hence, when all else is forgotten. I'm, I'm literally sitting here with my hands, you know, just up. It's like, oh. I'm like, what? Why? Why are we doing this? Well, I get why they are doing this. I'm not, not sure why. Okay, no. Okay, fine.
fine. We're in the situation. We gotta, we, we gotta wiggle our way out of it. And the rebels, of course, are spawning on the island. That is, that is, that is horrible, isn't it? And so this is one of those situations where we need a fleet to get rid of this army. Anything that anything that puts to sea will be taken down by our fleet. That is what I want. That is what I want. Dear Lord, this campaign. This is such a bloody hard campaign. Yeah, that's what I mean. Bloody rebels taking it straight away. Are we going to be able to take it back? That is... That is my question. Okay. Oh, here we go again. Settlement sacked. Sedan has returned home. Good job, Sedan. Uh, port settlement under siege. Tingis. Of course, Tingis is under siege. We've got a food shortage throughout the realm. A rebellion is imminent. A rebellion is imminent. We've got an ally confirming the war target. We've got an increase in rank. That is good, at least. A spy. Uh, pirates have been spotted near Kirtan. Why? You've got to be bloody kidding me. Settlement lost. Faction rises. Faction encountered. Edict has been issued. Year in history. Okay. Okay. Thing is under siege from that side by them. Uh, okay. And a rebellion imminent, mind you. Okay, time to start moving you. Bypassing is not not an option. That can be fought. How about peace? Be welcome, I suppose. Now speak as you will and try to be interesting. I will do this. I'll take the peace, but I need them to join the war against uh, Libya Pentapolis as well. Okay, how about now? How about now? Ah, crap. Okay, so I will. St I will still take the peace, honestly. We can take him down another time, but not now. You present honest terms. I greet you in my master's feared name. Speak in honest. Okay. Okay. My lord. I live to serve Ready for the Let them starve. We take this settlement for you, my lord. Ready for We're gonna let these guys starve. I mean, we don't need to. We don't need to fight them. Just let them starve. Okay. Well, that is this situation dealt with. Um, apparently, that also solves the food uh, the food crisis, which is a good thing. We have a little bit more money, which is also a good thing. That is a general on the waters. We cannot recruit any um, any mercenaries. I assume. We have another fleet in the waters over here. We're gonna actually push you, uh, push you up a bit. Maybe we'll encounter a couple of factions that we can trade with. Uh, peace negotiated faction encountered. We did encounter a couple of factions. Uh, that is a good thing. With a little bit of luck, we can at least start trading a little bit more. Get some, uh, get some more money in our pockets. Is. You are welcome, although my ancestors. This is hard. This is a hard campaign. Come, my friend, speak. You have my attention. Speak. Be welcome. Greetings in the name of Hermes. Be welcome, and may Hermes bless your... Speak your speech. 
Okay. Greetings, friend foreigner. Greetings. Okay, I know enough. Uh, we need more ships. That is something I really want. Would I be able to sink their entire fleet with three ships? Is that a fleet? Yeah. Your orders, my lord. I would not be able. Mm, I would not be able to sink their fleet with three ships, would I? That is the way to do it. That that is how we gain the upper hand by making sure we win on the waters. Oh crap, we also need to deal with this. How many turns would that be? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. They are not going to attack Mastia. I don't I don't believe that. I don't believe that they will attack Mastia. Now we do have a spy over here. That spy needs to start moving over to here. Yeah, you go rest a while. Uh, we need... What do we need? We need that and that. I'll take that. Uh, then we also have a judge that leveled Maharbal. Yeah, right. We also have this guy. Hmm. Uh, you need to go for... What do we need? Eventually, we need, we'll need more of that. We'll actually take that, actually. We'll actually take that, actually. Yes. Good job, Primus. Um, I'm really tempted to try this, but I don't think I'm. I, I don't think I'll be able to do it. To be honest. No, it's it's better to make sure we actually just do this right. Um, I'd love to have a couple more better ships, but they are just too expensive. Um, although having these might be better than these. I'm going to do that. Only two, really. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's uh, add to this army. What do we get for Mercs? Well, that's it for money, isn't it? Well, look at the income. Dear Lord. Well, at least next turn we'll take back Ufranta with a little bit of luck. Can we merge some, some troops here? We're going to get rid of you. These guys are just going to bleed out. We have peace with them. We border Egypt. I don't want to do too much anymore over here. Except for take out the rebels. We need to level up, level up our generals. We need to start getting a replenishment up on this army. On the Sofet. Recruit there, recruit there. Uh, these guys need to get over to uh, to there. Uh, we may be able to prevent a revolt here. There we go. What the hell happened to our income? I don't know. Um, we're already revolting here. We're crushing that next turn. They are not going to try and make the attack on Mastia, but Tingus might fall. Tingus might fall. Can't cancel this. That is not great. Not loving that. The guy Tuli actually... Are, are they at war with them? That would be nice. We might be able to get the guy Tuli into a war with, uh, with the Gaditani. Gaditana. There we go. Gaditana. No, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. Well, they may attack next turn. I will fight tooth and nail, but... We may need to give up some more territory here. At least we kick the... Uh, at least we kick the traders out of... Uh, we kicked the traitors out of Africa. That is a good thing. All right. This is such a such a challenging campaign. 
I am having a little bit of a difficult time here. But that is okay, I like that. I like fighting those uphill battles. And we'll get out, we'll, we'll, I, I, I bloody swear to you, we will get out of this mess. We have not lost just yet. Like, this is not the end, my friends. Sure, we're in a pretty, pretty iffy situation, and we need to get stuff under control, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, I promise you that. I promise you that. I think the Editani are gonna declare war on us as well. Yeah, if we gain control over the Mediterranean, that's going to make things very, very different. Here comes uh, Syracuse. They've actually defeated the rebels there. Topsus is under Roman Roman control. Oh, 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 oh! That is something that we need to uh, that we need to look into. That is a situation that we need to look into. I think our allies have moved into position, so that means that we might be able to actually cross the. Uh, we, we, uh, yeah. we might be able to act. We might be able to actually crush that army. There we go. Uh, this is not going to work at all, is it? We have a garrison fleet. They're coming in by sea as well. Are we going to be able to actually win this? We can bloody try. We can bloody try. We're going to try that now. That is the question. I don't have enough time. Do not have enough time. But I will actually try this. Especially if these guys are going to come in by sea. Because we are going to be able to sink their general. Uh, their general. Then we're going to be able to sink their sword units. These are Dorkim Libim. They don't have the best of morale. They don't have the best of morale. This general is also not the best general ever. So I'm definitely, definitely going to try this. I'm definitely going to try this. I don't think we'll win it, but I'm still going to try and do as much damage as I can. Fight them tooth and nail, eh? That is what we're here to do. We are going to fight them tooth and nail. Hmm. Anywho, my friends, we are going to call it quits for now. Thank you very, very much for being here with me today, and I absolutely hope to catch you on the next... Righty, thank you. Bye-bye.